Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to transfer photo on wood. This type of project is really neat and it's not as hard as you think, so keep watching. Okay guys, let's get started. As you can see here, I've got my photo copies here. I have two because the first one I forgot to tell the guy to um, flip the photo, which is called a mirroring effect, like a mirror. So I had to ask him to print a second copy, which is the one that I'm going to cut now. You can see there's um, a little bit of the white around the edges and I'm going to cut that off. I want to make sure that there is no white because when we transfer the photo, we don't want the white to show. So I'm just going to cut the edges here. So the side note is make sure when you get your photo copy and printed that you have it laser printed on regular copy paper and then you ask them to flip the photo and you just have to tell them that you want to mirror the photo and they'll know exactly what you're talking about. The next thing I'm going to do is take my foam brush and my Mod Podge photo transfer medium. I'm going to put some of that onto the foam brush and I'm going to apply it right on top of the photo. Don't worry, this is not going to destroy this photo because this photo is actually printed on copy paper so it'll be safe. And as you can see, it's pure white which is fine. Don't freak out, it's not, it's not going to ruin the photo. and this this is what's going to make the photo transfer so what I want to do is I want to apply all over the photo I don't want to miss a spot and I want to completely cover it until I can't even see the picture anymore Okay, so after I completely cover the photo with the Mod Podge, I just carefully lift the photo up and set it right on top of my wood palette here. Don't worry about it not being centered. If you want it to be centered, just carefully lift it up and reposition it. Um, it is a rustic project, so it doesn't really matter if it's centered or not because we're going to be rubbing it out anyway. Make sure there's no air bubbles and then take a damp sponge and clean off any extra Mod Podge that may have seeped through on the edges because it does not dry clear. It dries white. And then after that, you're going to wait 24 hours. You must wait the full 24 hours to let it cure. Once it has cured, then you can take a damp white cloth and set it right on top of your photo. Now that I've set the damp cloth on top of the photo, I'm just going to wait about two minutes to let it soak through. minutes it's up so I'm just going to lift up the damp cloth away from the photo and I'm going to take the same cloth and I'm going to rub the photo I'm going to do it in circular motions
after all the rubbing, I noticed that my photo is starting to dry up so I'm just going to set the damp cloth on top of it again for about a minute just to kind of moisten it so that I can remove any extra paper that's still on there that I don't want. So because I want to go for a more rustic look, I'm just adding a little bit more pressure when I'm rubbing out the corners here to remove a little bit more of the photo so that it doesn't have that clean cut look. I did notice there was a little bit of some white fuzzies left over so I'm just taking my foam brush and just kind of cleaning off the photo here removing any excess paper that there is. Okay, so now that my photo is completely dried on top of the wood, the last thing I'm going to do here is seal it. I'm going to take my Mod Podge mat, put some of that onto my foam brush, and apply one coat on top of my photo. This will not only seal and protect the photo, but it will also give it a semi-matte finish. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.